Today my search for lost and forgotten bands takes me all the way to Down Under. Taramis were formed in 1986 in Melbourne, Australia. Named after a character from Robert E. Howard's Conan books, they began as a melodic epic metal band, appealing to fans of Manila Road and such like. The lineup consisted of singer Shane, drummer Dave, bass player Danny and guitarist Craig. In 1987 they released the debut album Queen of Thieves with a simple black and white artwork on a local Australian label. Later it was licensed by Metal Blade and thus became available in the rest of the world too, with a new colourful artwork by American artist John Zelesnik. After the first album a new demo and local gigs followed, there are some nice videos on YouTube from those days. But since Taramis suffered from lineup changes as their bass player left and later their guitarist as well, it finally took the band four years to return with the second album, with new band members Evan and George. The style of music changed as much as the style of the artworks. While Queen of Thieves had been a conventional metal album with a slight progressive touch, Stretch of the Imagination dives head first into the progressive metal genre. As complicated as the songs get, they always follow a guideline though, and the sound was much clearer than on the debut. What did the reviewers say? <laughs> Stretch of the Imagination was released in Europe by Rising Sun Productions, a fine little company who always had good taste in their choice of bands, from Mystic Force to Psychotic Waltz. Being filed in the progressive genre means you're going to get great reviews from stunned music critics, but you don't sell any records unless you happen to be Amazon, Lake and Palmer. Stretch of the Imagination actually sold more copies than Queen of Thieves, since the reactions from overseas were better, but the band never completed their work on a third album. Taramis disbanded in 1993. In 2017 Taramis reformed for a gig in Melbourne and planned more activities, but as with many bands the Covid pandemic seems to have delayed or cancelled most of them. Remember that Australia had a stricter lockdown than most countries. At least the reissue of old material including demos was announced for this year. Look out for that and thanks for watching everyone.